Ugh. and girls. Today I'm going to base this lovely, lovely samurai guy that I've painted earlier on. All right, I imagine he uh, would be going through uh, perhaps uh, uh, riding on the road, you know, because he's not galloping or anything, so I, w I would imagine he's not in the middle of a field, uh, so he'll be riding on the road in between fields in Japan or something like that something to that effect let's see what we have here there's a, a nice uh, base that is uh, actually you know with the war games factory uh, name under it that's a uh, that's very very flat for a for a base but it's perfectly fine. We will start by painting that base. We will paint it actually uh, in... Uh, let me show you. That is Monster Brown. I have it on my palette because we have used it for, for this miniature. I will paint Monster Brown like so. We do not uh, we do not want to be too regular. This is uh, only the base for uh, for the ground. We will flock the the base later on, and it's all right if it's uh, not perfectly painted. It is just here to to basically base coat the thing before it uh, before it is flocked. So I imagine the road would, would be going like that a bit. Something that's a bit uh, a bit clearer, and uh, I would imagine the the earth of the field is a little darker, so we'll use a little more a little black and whole red. To do the sides of the road here, I imagine that this guy is going to be surveying the fields where his uh, his peasants are working there as you can see that's pretty much the uh, tracing for a for a road perhaps blur it a little more here Let's have uh, some more monster brown here because yeah, it doesn't really right. It's a little too too dark. Well, who cares? Really, it's going to be covered in flock most of it at, anyway. Alrighty. Now that uh, we're at this painting stage, we will be painting the sides of our base in black. Some people painted green, some people painted brown, I painted black. I really dislike other colors, it's too shiny. But then again, to each his own. We will now start gluing that thing and flocking it. To that effect, we will use super glue that I have uncapped too soon, but never mind. 
and we will use a few different basing materials. This soil scatter from Basecraft, which is quite interesting. I really like it. If I can stop putting it everywhere. There we are, pretty much. I really like the Basecraft stuff. Um, but we have also, uh, so we have, have this soil scatter that will help us do the, the road or more like the uh, earthen path that is uh, certainly not paved. That's just in between the fields of his, uh, of his, um, of his people, shall we say, that he's surveying one last time before going to battle. And then we'll have uh, perhaps a smattering of this, which is some autumn flock to do some, some grass and some moss here and there. It is quite beautiful. And uh, here to do dead leaves and, and the like, and we have uh, and bark, we have autumn scatter that maybe will be on the sides of the road, you know, um, that uh, has been raked by peasants and pushed over by the hooves of the horse. And finally, for the fields, we will have these clumps of grass from Gale Force 9 that are actually very nice, uh, especially for, for doing uh, dried grass, you know, uh, the dried grass af just, just after the, uh, the crops have been harvested. It's very nice. And no, it's not just rice in Japan. I mean, there's plenty of everything. Well, not plenty, but there is some other types of cereals. Anyway, let's start with the road and the turf. Because that's the somewhat difficult part, as we must perhaps do it all around the horse's hooves. Nice little path. There. Don't forget the cap. I think I put some glue on the horse's hoof, never mind. We will correct that later on. I have to do this because uh, the base of the miniature is slightly too big to do otherwise. So I have to basically pepper it with this uh, flock on one side and then the other. This ended up quite nicely, I think. It's a good start. Auspicious, even. Right. On the side of the road, there, there is some lighter scatter. Do this side first. Perhaps, yes, I'll do, I'll do it that way. Just plunging it in, plunging it in the, the scatter. There. Oh, it's quite nice. 
Now the other side. I'll just put some glue just on the side of that uh, path here. And plunge it, plunge it in the flock, if at all possible. Yes. Sorry if you didn't quite see that. Okay, let's gather our flock. Waste not, want not. Let's see. It's, uh, so far, so good. That looks like a nice little uh, path with uh, maybe some trees around it, but further up in the in the distance. There we are. Oh, putting some everywhere. Anyway, <clears throat> now I do think we need uh, to do the fields. I put uh, some lighter paint underneath the road because it's probably on some sort of rocky outcrop or, or a lighter colored uh, sand perhaps. But it's darker here because underneath a field it's always dark fertile earth. Well, hopefully, at least for the peasantry. And uh, uh, we just put that here. This grass, this straw even. Tap it on the side. Yes. See? That's not too bad. I'll do the same thing on the other side. Pretty much. Yeah, I think, uh, let, let's have a look. Yes, that looks interesting. It does look like a a, cr um, a crop that has just been tended to. Yes. There you are. Now perhaps uh, here a little bit of glue here on, on the side of the road and we'll do a little sprinkling of uh, this autumn flock from base crafts that will be quite interesting in ways of, of uh, doing some grass and some moss. And uh, let's have another little little bit of that here. And here, let me show you. I'll put it here and here. There. Blow on it some more, perhaps. Yes. And here we are. I think that's enough. We don't want too much. Let's see the, the results here. Yes, little bit of little little patches of, of, uh, of uh, mosses and grass and wild uh, weeds on the side of the road, where there's also uh, scattered autumn leaves and barks just in the middle of fields that have just been tended to. 
this guy is just surveying the, the crops before going to war. That's quite nice and quite scenic, I believe. I think a whole unit of these guys would be swell. Don't you think? Yeah. So that's our samurai warrior in the fields. Ta-ta! Thank you.